Today, I'm gonna show you the recipe, literally the structure for writing a perfect YouTube video. And if you follow this structure, you'll write videos that get more likes, get more comments, and get you more subscribers. Let's dig into it. I'm Owen Video. Owen Video! Hey, I'm Owen Video. Welcome to the channel. For and today we're talking about video structure. And video structure means what you say on camera, when to say it, and what to show on screen. Video structure is also called formatting, programming, also storyboarding. And every successful movie, TV show, podcast, commercial, and YouTube video follows a structure. For example, The Office. Parkour. Each episode of The Office starts with a cold open, like this joke about parkour. After the cold open, we go into the familiar theme song that we all love. Then we go to a commercial break before the show opens. We have the middle of the show, another commercial break, and then the climax. See, there's a structure. Now, let's take a look at the YouTube video structure that we use to keep our viewers watching as long as possible. I'm actually using it right now. And this video structure will work for long form videos, short form videos, even tutorials, and lots of other styles. Let's start with the hook. The hook is the first 10 seconds of your video and is designed to grab the viewer's attention and get their buy-in to watch the video a little bit longer. If you ask me, the hook is the most important part of your video. Here are some examples of a great video hook. It's about losing subscribers, and to date, I've lost 31,631 subscribers. Is it too late to start a YouTube channel? With over 30 million channels on YouTube alone, you might think that it's just too competitive. After the hook comes our very first interrupt called the pattern interrupt. Whoa, okay, wow. A pattern interrupt is a technique used to change a particular thought, behavior, or situation. On YouTube, the behavior we wanna change is the viewer Xing out of your video. So we interrupt the pattern of the video to engage the viewer's attention quickly. Almost like your mom snapping her fingers when she's talking at you, are you listening to me? And I'd be like, no mom, please stop drinking. And that was a pattern interrupt. Some particularly useful pattern interrupts are logo bumpers like this, zoom in cuts like this, adding memes and sound effects like see. this, or even going to full screen graphics with text just like this. So after you hook your viewer, add a pattern interrupt to keep them watching. That brings us to your branded intro. This is where you introduce yourself and set up the main themes of the video. It's also where you get a chance to build a relationship with the viewer and get them excited to watch the entire video. A good intro will answer who you are, relate to the viewer's experience, explain why the video is important, and why they should watch it till the end. Also, it helps to have a little like thing you do in every episode that acts as your calling card. For me, it's the Air 5. Once you've introduced the video's topic, you'll add another pattern interrupt to keep the viewer engaged and you move into the journey. And the journey is the meat of your video where you cover all the main points that lead up to the end of the video where you show your best stuff. Think of the journey section like stepping stones across a stream. Each stone is a different bullet point in your video that leads the viewer to the climax. And the climax is the end of the video. But before you end the video, you wanna use a little trick I learned from my mentor. It's two little words. And those two words are... I don't have it. What? Oh, there it is, right, right there. The tension interrupt. This is where you build tension before getting to the final point or the climax of your video. The tension interrupt is designed to make your viewer anxious to see the big reveal or conclusion of your video. It's like a drum roll. And the tension interrupt gives you space to build value for your video's final point. Whoa, whoa, that's inappropriate. The climax or conclusion of your video is when you reveal your biggest tip, secret, screenshot, or recipe. This is where you show them the big promise of the video that you've been alluding to the entire time. 
Your climax should be structured to show off as many graphics, images, or loops as you possibly can and give the viewer a sense of satisfaction that this is why they watched the video. And that completes the perfect YouTube structure for writing videos that will get more watch time and engagement. And now that you know it, I dare you to watch more videos on YouTube, especially mine, and see if you can find the pattern. You'll see it everywhere, and that's good. Because if you follow this structure, you'll make better videos every time much faster. Now, let's continue the conversation about video structure by watching this video here, where I'll show you how to structure a great hook to capture more attention on your YouTube videos. Click on it now, I'm Owen Video, and I'll see you there.